हेलो वन वेलकम टू पार्ट नाइन ऑफ लारवल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज ऑफ टू जीरो टू फोर टू फाइव एडिशन सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द बेसिक एडवांस क्वेश्चन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द लारवल अलेवन क्वेश्चन एज एज वेल सो इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी पार्ट वी विल ट्राई टू कवर वन टू न्यू क्वेश्चन वन टू क्वेश्चन दैट बिलोंग्स टू लारवल अलेवन एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू एड द लारवल ट्वेल्व एज वेल वेन एवर इट विल गेट लॉन्च Uh, so do follow every part of this 202425 edition okay so it will really help you to to crack the laravel interviews okay so let's start let's see the first question and also this uh, particular part uh, carries the importance of 4 out of 5 so it's really important to follow every question very carefully okay so let's start let's see the first question that is what are the server requirements for installing laravel 11 okay so some of the time uh, the interviewer may ask you that uh, uh, what is the server requirement for installing laravel 11 and what is the php version minimum php version that you require for installing laravel 11 other than that uh, they ask that what extensions are required for installing the laravel 11 what php extensions are required okay so let's see its answer So we require at least PHP 8.2 to install the Laravel 11. Okay, and these are the PHP extensions that must be enabled on the server. That is the BC Math PHP extension, uh, CD uh, CTI PHP extension, File Info PHP extension, JSON PHP extension, M M B String PHP extension, Open S S L PHP extension, P D O PHP extension, Tokenizer PHP extension, and X M L PHP extension. So these are the sections that are required. for installing the laravel 11 so you must make sure that you have enable all the extension in your apache server okay and also the php version must be at least 8.2 okay so let's see the next question uh yeah uh, see i will uh, have the separate video i will share under video uh, uh you can see in its description the how to install laravel 11 so this is a separate video that you can find in uh, video description okay so what is source controller in laravel so it's very important question uh, the interviewer may ask you that what is resource controller in laravel let's see its answer a resource controller is used in laravel to perform crud operations easily when you create a resource controller using artisan command then it will create all necessary methods inside the controller related to crud operations create read update delete so the resource controller helps the user to create uh, to perform the crud operations easily okay so it will really help you to perform the crud operation crud operation you already know create read update delete so uh, once you will run this artisan command for your laravel project Uh, it will create the resource controller like uh, we uh, used to create the normal controller like if you will create the product controller as the resource controller then it will create the product con controller file in that file it is going to create uh, all the function auto auto automatically okay you are not required to create all the functions of your own okay so it will automatically create all the functions uh, that required to perform the crud operation okay so it will help the user uh, to execute this task okay uh so uh, let's see its example we can create a resource controller with below artisan command so this is the command uh, to create the resource controller uh, php artisan make controller uh, see we used to uh, up till here this is the normal controller if you will not add resource controller but if you add hyphen f and resource then it will create the resource controller okay so this is the hyphen f and resource i think okay so it will create the resource controller it will convert this controller to the resource controller in which it will automatically create these seven empty methods seven empty func functions in in product controller like i have explained you that in, the, in this product controller it will, it will create the functions index show create store edit update destroy that will help us to perform the crud operations okay so i i hope that it's clear to you so let's see the next question also the separate video for source control is available in video details so you can check that so what are assessors and mutators in laravel see these kind of additional laravel question these kind of uh, questions can also the interviewer can uh, can also ask 
uh, so you must be aware of uh, this kind of questions okay so what are assessors and mutators let's see its answer laravel assessors and mutators are the custom user defined methods assessors are used to format the attributes when we retrieve them from database whereas mutators are used to format the attributes before saving them into the database okay so these are uh, like the functions only okay these are the custom function that you are used to create uh, but the difference is the assessors uh, are those functions in which uh, you will uh, you will get the data from the database and then update that data and then show to the user okay uh, means you are going to retrieve the data from the database and then will update its output uh, okay and in the case of mutators uh, what you are going to do you are going to get the data uh, from the user okay like uh, something first name last name whatever uh, uh, you will get the data from the user and update the data and then save to the database okay it is the reverse of the assessors okay assessors take the data from the database and then you are going to modify and then you can uh, send to the user and in mutators you are going to take take the data from the user then modify the dat that data and then save it to the database okay so uh, so let's see uh, its example as a, uh, as well how to use assessors and mutators in laravel so uh, now i will show you its examples let's see suppose if we have first and last name columns in users table of database but we require full name on application then we combine it by creating an assessor like blow okay see uh, if we require uh, like uh, if we will take the data from the database okay and in the database its first name and last name column there is no name column in the database so we will get the first name and last name separately and now we want to show the complete name to the user uh, on the application whether it is the app or by whether it is the website you are want to show the complete name then we will create this uh, assessor function assessor method uh, like get full name in that uh, in that function we are going to take the first name from the database last name from from the database and then we are going to con concatenate we are going to uh, see merge these both the names to make it full name okay then that full name we are going to present on the application or or the website okay so uh, let's see the example of the mutators as well suppose if we have the email column in users table of database but we require all emails to be inserted in lower case then we create a mutator like blow yes now see uh, we are having the register form suppose we are having the register form and we are getting the email from the user and uh, and the uh, user types in capital letter okay but we want to store that email in lower case in the database then we are going to update that email uh, we will convert that email to the str we are we will use that php function str to lower function to convert that em uh, that email to the lower case uh, okay and then we are going to save it to the database okay so this is the example of mutators okay so i hope the examples are clear to you see this form this all these wordings and all these syntax okay are generated uh, uh, in a better form in a more easy form so you, if you will simply read it as well then also you can able to understand it okay so let's see the next question what is validation in laravel okay so a lot of a uh, lot of time we are required to validate the data okay so let's see its answer validation in laravel is necessary to make sure the application is receiving the expected data we can use laravel validator class to validate the, the form data input by the user okay so see whenever like uh, we are using so many forms we are using the register form we are using the login form we are using the contact us form on the website okay and also uh, sometimes we are placing the order sometimes we are adding the card okay so almost like in e-commerce website almost everywhere we require to validate the data so that uh, uh, like if someone placing the order or if uh, uh, you are uh, uh, you are uh, like someone is sign up into the website okay uh, then at that case uh, our admin panel must have the correct data our database must have the correct data okay so for getting the correct data we need to validate that data first of all okay 
so that is validation is really important because we need to validate the data only then we can save into the database okay it's just like the mutator like we have done earlier okay we uh, we are required to convert the data into a proper format or we will send the error message to the user uh, to show uh, to add the correct data like uh, if the uh, if the user uh, types the name in case uh, like in the email field user types the name then we will send the user that to type the email here okay only then you can insert the data so like this we are going to validate the data first of all we are going to show the error message to the user okay so let's see its example we will use validator class at controller file and can use below code for validating the data okay so see we can validate the data like this there is the validator class in laravel okay then that helps us to the validate the data and here this is the syntax to validate the data here you can see validator uh, uh, make this is the syntax we can add our rules we can add our custom message for those rules and if the validation fails, then we will redirect back the user with the error message okay so this is the syntax of doing that and here i'm going to show you that in laravel web 11 website as well we have used this validation a lot you can see in the user controller at front here you can see that like we are visiting the user so first of all we are validating the user okay like uh, if the user uh, is providing the correct name or not uh, the name is required and name must be uh, string and name must be uh, maximum of 255 characters and mobile is required mobile must be numeric and mobile must be of 10 digits only email is required email must be string and email is it must be email only like the name it will not accept at all okay so email uh, must be unique as well like uh, users table must not have any other email okay uh, email must be unique okay so in password password is required and minimum of six characters so like this we have the validation of every column so these validation uh, can help us uh, like uh, here i'm going to show you like for the register form uh, i will click on sign up and the user will not fill the form will create click on create here you can see the validation messages okay so all these messages uh, is the result of this validator class that we have used this is the validator class that we have used to validate the data okay so we are validating the data here you can see that it is asking name is required mobile is required mail is required password is required okay so uh, the user is required to validate the data only then it will accept okay and if the user will type something like uh, here i am going to add my name that is fine okay if the user will add some wrong data like uh, here i will try to add something like this then it will ask us to provide the mobile field must be a number okay it is asking that to add the number here see this is not the number so and also if i i will add something like big enough like uh, if i will add some number like this then it will again ask the mobile will must be of 10 digits okay you can set the validation of your own choice like this okay so uh, so it will help us to validate the data so validator validation is really important in laravel uh, so we are required to validate the data okay so uh, so see we have uh, practically seen it in laravel website and we have practically used it everywhere so uh, so this is the uh, this is the part nine for you and i hope that uh, all the questions are clear to you and uh, you if you have any query you can surely ask me okay so we will come up with more laravel interview questions that will help you to crack the interview so don't miss any part and we are going to add every time new questions into this as well okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye